before we get started here make sure you go ahead subscribe to my channel click that bell and give this video a thumbs up that way you're notified every time i post one of these flashbacks now this a video was originally posted six years ago ago six years ago i can't even talk six years ago this was one of my favorite clients okay actually everybody that y'all see me doing these reposts of are my favorites those are the only ones who made it to the channel okay the very first thing you're going to do or the first thing i did is add a leave-in conditioner now what i'm doing with this leave-in conditioner i'm making sure that as i am smoothing her hair and setting her hydrogen bond temporarily i am making sure that the cuticle is laying flat so that way there is no damage to the cortex of the hair shaft whatsoever your leave-in conditioner is your heat protectant for your blow dryer. It is also your protection for UV radiation like sun exposure. And some leave-in conditioners, like the ones I use, give you heat protection for up to 450 degrees. So your heat protected for the blow dryer is your leave-in conditioner. That's what it's for, to leave in something, to condition it. To condition something means to prepare it, right? So we are preparing the body to be set so that is what we're doing at this point I am going through and round brushing her hair now the women that you see in my chair they're all of their curls pop right back and not only do the curls pop back but they are able to have healthy hair routines and healthy patterns that do not involve layering different products on or leaving the hair wet there are so many different styles and so many choices that you have that don't include wash and goes, that don't include the lock method, that don't include twist outs, because these three things that everybody stuck to are kind of new, right? Because prior to that, you know, the women that came before me, the Madam CJ Walkers, the Annie Turnbulls, all of the women who came before us, who laid the groundwork for us, when they wanted to set their bonds, even on hair that has not been chemically treated, so on virgin hair, because in the hair salon, that's what we call it, virgin hair, not natural hair, because everybody's hair is natural if it's coming from the scalp. We're talking about virgin hair or chemically treated hair, right? So if you don't have any chemicals or if you don't have any relaxers or anything you have a virgin hair right or you don't have a perm you have virgin hair so when it comes to a virgin hair right to maintain the integrity of a virgin hair using a blow dryer and a flat iron is not the only way it's one of so many different ways and we'll talk about that in a second but in this case she did have a hair shaft disorder and people are under the misconception that if you have a hair shaft disorder, that means you can never touch your hair again. Or if you have holes or missing parts within the cuticle, that means that your hair shaft can never be touched again. If your entire hair shaft falls off on, if your entire cuticle falls off of your hair shaft, your hair is going to be gone. Like there's, like there, that's, that's not a thing. Okay, so there is a way that you can style your hair that has nothing to do with flat irons, that has nothing to do with blow dryers. But I think because, A, um, standing behind the chair, I wasn't going out standing on the corner like, hey, girl, come in here and get your hair done, girl. Oh, by the way, that was a review from the 7-Day Challenge. So rewind it, take a screenshot and read it, right? But I wasn't standing on the corner like, girl, lolly, 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 get your silk presses here. Like it wasn't happening like that. People were booking me and they weren't booking me just for a silk press, right? They were booking me so that way they can figure out what their hair shaft disorder was, the exact name of the hair shaft disorder that they have and what they can do to fix it. And then I fixed it like I'm about to do in this video. Again, at this point, she has already had a Olaplex 1 treatment, Olaplex 1 and to follow up by a deep conditioning treatment we are doing a complete we did a complete scalp and hair shaft detox so I can treat this hair shaft disorder so these are things that I really want you guys to think about I showed you guys a review from the seven day challenge now this is just a review from somebody who just watches my channel because that is what my videos are about you guys I just want to give you guys the visual representations of everything that I'm talking about and for the longest time anytime somebody picks up a blow dryer or a flat iron or a comb or a brush everybody's scared <gasps> the blow dryer is gonna damage your hair no it doesn't using blow dryers raw damages your hair 100 percent 
100%. Using anything wrong is going to damage your hair. Using the wrong comb to comb your hair, depending on the texture of your hair, 100% is going to damage the hair. Using the wrong brush, using that 100%. That's why you learn the science of hair so you don't make those mistakes. Because when you learn about which combs and brushes to use for certain patterns and certain routines, you never have that problem. Because let's be honest. If combs and brushes and blow dryers were damaging, then cosmetologists would not be around. Like that wouldn't be a thing. The field of cosmetology wouldn't be a thing. And it's for all races, right? So at this point we are done blow drying her hair. Now I'm going to straighten everything out. At this point, the only thing in her hair, shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and heat protectant as I flat iron that is it and that is all i'm not layering three 30 40 million different products on yes i use olaplex but i only use olaplex i only use the uh numbers in olaplex as needed based on the client that i have and their needs and their patterns so yes olaplex has products zero through what nine i don't use every single product on every client i may use one or two products out of the line on a, on a client maybe even one outside of the shampoo and conditioner sometimes i don't use anything other than the shampoo and conditioner is based on the client again that's why it's imperative that you learn the science of hair so this question here or should I say comment? Cause it's not really like a question. I mean, how the F are we supposed to wear our hair? Hairstylists be blowing me. And you guys, it's not complicated at all. So again, Team Natural's probably been around for the last 12, 13 years. But prior to that, there are so many ways that the women who came before us that laid the groundwork for us to even hold a comb or a brush or anything, the people who lay the groundwork for us, you guys, they gave us patterns way before twist outs, way before wash and goes. So there are so many options. And in my opinion, they look 10 times better. But here on my channel, you guys aren't going to see a whole bunch of fluxy rods, sets and wet sets. Why? Because people were not booking appointments for that, right? Again, I wasn't going, y'all lolly, 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 get your surprise here, right? So I did what my clients wanted. And when we are looking at your hair, this is something that we need to do. I need to straighten your hair out to see it stretch so I can see the true density of your hair. But if you want to have your natural curls, look at that. This is within the seven day challenge. Y'all don't get mad at me for sharing this with everybody, right? For free, I'm sorry. But I didn't do that. But this is that is a screenshot of a woman with a perm rod set. And all she did was use perm rods and a freaking leave-in conditioner and a styling foam and set under the dryer. And that's it. And then boom, chuckle boom, the curls were out. You guys, we don't have to do that. Oh my God, all you want to do is straighten hair, y'all. We don't have to do that because I need you to remember you have options. This is what my clients came to when they came to get maintenance or when they wanted to get certain hair shaft disorders looked at, checked out. She had already seen it under electron microscope, but now I'm taking a picture and giving her a visual representation of how it looks with the naked eye, not under the microscope, just so we can get a visual representation. And at that point, she like, girl, cut as much as you need to. You didn't even have to show me that, right? So that is what we were here for. I know that most people have a sour taste in their mouth because you go to certain hair salons and maybe they just cut away just to cut. But no, when people came to see me, that's what they were here for. I am a hair shaft disorder and scalp disorder specialist. That's my thing, right? That was my thing. So it wasn't just, oh, I'm cutting hair off. No, when a lot of times maybe to you, it may look like I'm cutting more than normal, but we saw something that you guys didn't see. So again, I'm cutting this baseline, right? But most of her breakage from her hair shaft disorder was up throughout the crown. So by me giving her long layers, I'm able to get rid of all of that damage. I literally got rid of everything and it doesn't look like it. It looks like she just got a really cute haircut. And I want you guys to keep watching to the end so you can see exactly what I mean. But I want you guys to get out of that mind frame. Like everything doesn't have to be a back and forth for none of that. Like sometimes whenever you are in the salon, you are just doing what your client wants. And when I post these videos, 
everybody's getting their hair straightened yes but they're not getting their hair straightened because they don't like their curls or because they're embarrassed by them they all wear what resembles their natural curls but they do perm rod sets at home flexi rod sets after a woman got out of my chair unless she was one that didn't listen to me they never did twist outs flexi rod i mean flexi rods twist outs wash and goes they never did that because i let them know that okay if you like the way that your natural curls look that's fine and i would tell them give me a picture of your hair when you wear your hair now like the best wash and go you ever did and they give me a picture and then once they give me a picture i then give them a picture of the exact size perm rod that they can use and then they go and they they use that perm rod, do a wet set on their hair, right? Sit under the dryer and they get out and the perm rod sets looks like the best wash and go anybody's ever done in life. And guess what? You don't have to wet your hair every day. You don't have to retwist it every day. You don't have to reset it every day. You can still run your fingers through it. You can still brush it as long as you get the right brush without the curls falling out. You don't have to reapply it, reshape curls. And guess what? You'll only have to do the wet set once a week or once every two weeks. It's up to you, right? So these are things that I want you to think about. As we take her hair out of this bag and it's falling down all silky, right? That was our goal. So now, no matter what she does, a flexi rod set, a perm rod set, whatever she does, right? Her hair is healthy is thriving and she can go back and forth between wearing her hair straight where some days she just wears it blown out or she can wear a flexi rod set again and a perm rod set a straw set there are so many different things rollers different size rollers like sponge roller there's so many different options you guys the options that you guys want to stick to and argue about are the new ones that cause damage but by properly setting the bonds right without layering all of those products on the hair you ensure that your hair shaft is able to breathe you ensure that the sebum that is meant to make your hair strong is able to flow easily out of the scalp and reach the hair shaft with ease, right? So this is why I'm always so big on making sure that your hair and scalp is clean, right? When I was standing behind the chair, I was making sure my clients were confident in their hair no matter how they decided to wear it. They knew it was going to be healthy. And even when they wore their hair in this natural stayed it was not hard to manage once women sat in my chair the days of them spending eight hours in the ch in the chair doing their hair the days of them spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on hair products it was over right it was over and the energy was amazing again I left the industry just because it was it was my time and you know the people are people were special but again all of the women that you'll see here were the freaking amazing ones and let me know what you think in the chat about how her hair turned out i think it turned out amazing i do remember that her hair never broke back off from my knowledge of course it's been years since i was behind the chair but i'm pretty sure her hair is like all the way down her back okay but it was amazing right to have a client that listened to me 100 percent told me girl do whatever it is that you need to do and again she already knew how to maintain her hair when she got home she wasn't straightening her hair all the time this silk press lasted her lasted her it lasts about two weeks she could get three weeks out of it sometimes but normally it would be getting too oily by then so then she would have another wash day and again for the 50th time roller set flexi rod set you have so many options guys it's not just flat ironing your hair even though that's one of my favorite options but it's not the only one if you're scared of blow dryers or if you're still scared of flat irons you have other options but this is the way that we treat the human hair shaft right so let me know what you think about this video in the comments below as you can see boo loved her hair right did her hair for a while but this was our first appointment and as you can see it was beautiful leave me some comments below and let me know what you think bye